le feu. for three months for a phone is in critical condition. Adventure funerals are the hot new way to die. We have more from a local funeral home. Los Santos record producer Chad Mulligan was killed and his $3 million Z-Type was stolen in a violent carjacking in a Los Santos parking garage. The whereabouts of the rare vintage car, one of only 10 still in existence, and the identity of the killer are still unknown. Police responding to neighbors' complaints found five rotting corpses in a condo in Polito Bay up in Blaine County. The four men and one woman were apparently involved in a sex and drugs orgy that went badly wrong. The woman, Ashley Butler from Alderney, and four local men ranging in ages from 53 to 85, all had histories of drug and legal problems. Dramatic stinger. Workers at an iFruit phone store in Liberty City say they are worried about superfan Sean Douglas. He has been in line for weeks awaiting the release of the new phone. Douglas has promised to stay in line regardless of illness, acts of God, or natural disasters. Local Los Santos funeral homes are getting in on the latest craze, adventure funerals. Why be in a casket during the viewing when your body can be involved and posed on a motorcycle or in a sea kayak the alligator pulled you out of and mourners can see you doing the thing you loved that also brought your untimely demise. Funeral director Frank Fernworthy says many families love the new service. Yeah, man, no, no, no. What I'm trying to tell you, man, is families like seeing their loved ones body pose, mountain climbing, competitive eating, or swinging, whatever killed them that they love so much. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Music you probably don't deserve to experience. Video Mirror Park. Let's go. 
go and eat at a diner that only serves twelve. I feel horrible. Like this, Michael. Hey, I gotta go handle something. Later on, all right? Okay, no problem. I'll see you soon. It looks so good there. Just had to try your life. About half of it went down my throat. Started turning white. I tried. this it's a thing you said you wanted work this is work uh-huh and who's the guy you'll see yes hi <laughs> oh hello we're looking for mr madrazzo patricia for fuck's sake just let him in right this way gentlemen <laughs> patricia get us something to drink with you Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, it's my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So, what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The He's truth. A... Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, but some people. <laughs> They no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in my call. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Yeah. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier, he's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want a drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? Sorry. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right!
You need anything, get me on the headset. Yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there to that guy's house. Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? The little fertility statues, whatever. The guy has trouble getting it up. We'll clear two, three million on those. Easy. Perverts will pay anything for hope. We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job. So what's it all about? Okay. The guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him. But it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? The fuck? I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down and I'll be ready. T. If you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet! I got her. Southwest of the city. The jet's moving. Gotta give a lead. Yeah. 
sign of Charlie Echo. What is your status? God help us. But seriously, bro, coming all the way out here, we gotta get paid. Just do the job. I'll get us picked. Who's... Take him to Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. No, oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk.
change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works, a little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor, Trevor, ah, I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. Why do you have his car? Man, that piece of turd, huh? No wonder people are stabbing him in the back. What happened? Cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Trevor, don't. That's your fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Oh, now, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you pop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out. You know, it's a, a very relaxing <sighs> little spot. A little getaway, if you will, a cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. Man, you cool. 